Blue Wave Radio. Hopefully, how you can fix yourself the infamous um, blue screen of death, uh, specifically the one that stands for um, um, IRQL. <clears throat> um, KBD class dot sys that's for the driver uh, for the keyboard driver um, malfunction that causes a BSOD BSOD on Windows 8.1 or actually whenever whatever system you have right now um, the thing is that um, with this problem is um, many people have different solutions between quotes um, one of the top most used um, are going to reject it reject it or reject it or whatever you want to call it and then going to this key over here in uh, a key local machine system current console set control class and then looking for the 4D key um, but finishing with the B A B so it should be the B I, I, ident I identified the first block and then I let myself guide through the last letter I mean well the last uh, digit which is, which is the B um, So uh, another thing is that many people say that uh, in order to make it work, you will have to um, change this um, upper filter um, key and delete whatever it has in front of KBD class, and just leave like leave KBD class by itself. That way, people say that they have good results with that solution. I did everything on my end and it didn't work just like that. Um, <clears throat> I, I kept on having the um, blue screen of death every time I typed something. Um, so that wasn't my solution. My ultimate solution was something that I read in a forum. Um, first what you have to do is um, <clears throat> Go over um, devices manage manager or device yeah device device manager and then um, let me do a quick research again I'll be right back um, I'll just have to edit it later on okay I will try to do it all in on fly on the fly but um, Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, first, first of all, you'll have to go to this, your CMD. You will have to get the. If if you don't have access to your keyboard and it's like it um. BSOD on like a key press or something, then you may be. <clears throat> then you may be using the onboard, on on not an onboard, an on-screen keyboard. This way, um, you can like type or you can use your mouse to control, uh, control C, or copy this and paste it over it's CMD. Make sure your CMD is elevated. I mean, with elevated permissions, so you have to run it as an administrator. Copy this little text over here. And paste it over um, your CMD, um, and then when you go over device manager, you will see that, uh, for example, here um, you will see like some are ghost ghost uh, ghost entries. They will not be just like this selected. They will be like you know like disabled entries or something like that. That's what we're looking for. 
Okay. <clears throat> so after you came, after you um, came uh, to this um, universal server bus control section here, you have to right click and uninstall on every single ghost one that you see around here that is not enabled. Um, after you are done on everything, and you just close the section and let's move on to keyboards. <coughs> Another thing that you need that I will tell you beforehand, um, it's um, this software called Driver Max. This this drive it the software is really good. I tried many 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 different um, softwares that try to like update my drivers or download the the good ones. None of them worked except for Driver Driver Max. I shout out to these people. Now, if you really have the money to 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 purchase a license for yourself, just do it. It it works really well. <clears throat> even even though you can buy it, it this is free as well. It comes with a free version. I don't really know what the difference, but anyways, you can stick up here in a little while. And then you can check for yourself, you know, what are the features and whatnot. But yeah, you just go on the lot, download the software, install it to your computer, and then make sure you open it up. <clears throat> go to driver downloads and info, scan for driver updates, let it scan. And um, check whether you see an entry for keyboard. I had mine already here, so let me show you. So yeah, HID keyboard device. Um, if you get if you get an entry like this, make sure you download it because this will be the new driver that we'll be installing shortly. All right. This is the essential. This is the most essential part of this. The whole thing is getting this driver to get um to to work. <clears throat> All right. So um, after you have done everything, um, make look. Make sure you click install. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't 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 install it yet. My bad. Um, remember we were at the device device manager. Yeah. Use um. When, after you have finished with the universal things here, the, um, install all the ghost ones, go to up here into keyboards, and then just right click on every single one and click uninstall. Make sure you install everyone, and if it asks you if you want to like delete the driver software or whatever, make sure you click yes on that too if it prompts for something like that. Uninstall for every single um, entry that you have in here. Um, once you have done that and you don't have any more entries at all for keyboards or anything, don't scan for hardware changes because we're going to uninstall. We, we're going to install this this um, this version that we got here from Driver Max. This will be the replacement for the generic um, drivers that the computer has uh, been already setting up for us. Okay, because otherwise, if you click here, scan for hardware changes. It will install like the same previous ones, and those are damaged already. The problem is that we have, uh, or that you are having, is that your drivers are screwed up, and your computer—I don't know—they probably become corrupted by something or somehow or malware or something. You know, many different factors you look, you should be looking at. But the important thing is that we're just going to fix them. Don't click. Just make sure you don't click on the scan for hardware changes. Otherwise, the previous corrupted drivers may get installed once more. We don't want that. So once we have done that, um, make sure you install it. Now you, just, you can go ahead and install it. Um, install the drivers that you've got over here. And then once you're done with that, you just close everything up. And then you should see entries. You should see new entries for uh, keyboard driver. All right. Um, well, this worked for me, and uh, I didn't have any more problems with blue screens of death after I finished uh, doing that 
this type of procedures. Um, <clears throat> I was pretty happy with the result because it was very aggravating for like two days straight. I was trying to get a solution on this, reading on forums, and trying different many setups, different programs. I even tried to um, analyze the mini dumps and everything. And on top of that, my computer is not that. My computer is not writing um, to the correct directory of the mini dumps. So any program that I try to check the mini dumps to see whether to see whether <clears throat> what was the problem causing it, you know, I, I was all hands tied down. And it was a pain in the neck. Yeah. So, but I finally fixed it. it and um, let me see what else. I I, I feel like I'm forgetting and it's something, but. Can't recall that, that quite wait, quite yet. Anyways, um, this should be good for now. It's been already 11 minutes. I hope the file is not that big because I'm recording 60 frames per second and 720p full screen resolution. So I'm hoping that you know it's not like one freaking gigabyte the the, the video size. Anyways, um, thank you for watching, and if it worked for you, oh yeah, I forgot about what I was going to talk about earlier. Um, well, but anyways, if it worked for you, um, make sure you leave a thumbs up, um, comment, and subscribe, and whatever you want, you know. Also, um, yeah, what I was going to tell is that... Um, for people that has like Logitech keyboards or stuff like that, they will have to uninstall their software first. In my case, I don't have like a Logitech, you know, software defined um, driver um, installed. So the only thing that I have, my keyboard is a Ducky Shine 3 9008. Yeah, that's my, my keyboard. and. And it doesn't install like whatever, you know, it doesn't install like weird software from them. It, is, it, it, it can install like a software, if you can call it but like that, but it's like actually a firmware upgrader for the keyboard itself. So it's nothing like the app, you have to install it, and that's the thing that runs your keyboard, and that's like the driver internal that it has, or whatever, you know. So my thing was kind of pretty straightforward. I think the drivers that were assigned for the skill were the one that the computer came with, that came with it and assigned to them automatically. So yeah, if it worked for you, make sure you leave a thumbs up, um, comment, and you know show your appreciation if it really worked. This was the solution that I got. Hopefully, I can help many people out there with the same problem. All right, take care, everybody. Up until the next video. Bye-bye.